Hey guys, how's it going? It is Brains of Games here, and I'm back for the next episode of Super Smash Bros. for you. In the last episode, we took it on with... Who did we take it on as? The Wii Fit Trainer. This episode, we're taking it on with Shulk, who can see the future just like Raven Simone. Not so Raven. And I'm gonna turn it down a little because I can't think. And I'm gonna try to be as energetic as I possibly can, but I don't know. It's hot in here, and... It's been a slow day, and my school has Fridays off, so it's really just been a lazy day when I know I need to get a lot of work done, and I can't, so it's screwy like that, and I don't know. I've been trying to do work, but you know how much work work takes? <sighs> but anyways, I went for this 1v1 because Falco, he's cool, right? Part of Team Star Fox. He originally was the leader of his own gang, but it disbanded for some reason. Don't think we know why. We might know why. And I started wondering, uh, I didn't know if, um, the added effects of the Monado actually count for, uh, in the process of hitting with an item, which they ended up doing because I threw the stupid bat thing. What is that called? That is the rock. It's from Kid Icarus Uprising. I don't know what it's called. What is it called? It'll come to me later or something, maybe. Um, but I used that into like 20% just by throwing it and hitting him off stage. But, um, yeah. So that's what happened. And, yeah, so, uh, actually, as of, this is being recorded. This is actually recorded yesterday but i didn't get the audio done because again i had a lot of work to do i ended up doing the wrong work though but i mean it'll only help me next week so whatever um uh where was i going with that oh um as of today this is the 6th of november um i plan on recording this or uploading this today and um once i do um gonna upload this yeah on sunday though the 8th target is holding a buy two get one free all video games sale and i am so excited for that because there are a lot of games i've really wanted to play recently like xenoblade i've really wanted to play that and i really wanted to play xenoblade but yeah i was kind of hoping that that would actually hit him and not kill me but which ha Ugh, hiccups now which, uh, actually did happen. Oh. There's a lot of games on my, like, recently bought list that I have played a little bit that I still want to play a lot more of. But, I mean, you can only play so much Yoshi's Woolly World at a time, though, I feel. Because, like, the platforming gets boring. I've just played so many platforming games recently that I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of the same thing over and over again. Which is why I like Mario Maker, because there's actually innovation in the levels a little bit, occasionally. Um, which is cool and all. But, yeah. So, um, actually, this isn't the first time I tried to record this. I tried to record this once before, and I will show that right about now. I don't know why I'm being quiet, and that it's gonna be, like, in the corner of the, the screen or something. I'm gonna try to do some fancy video editing, and I'm gonna put the the failed attempt, and the reason why I died from that, in the corner. Yeah. I'm gonna be so cool with my fancy editing skills. Scales. But, um... Yeah. I, uh, really wanna get into Xenoblade, so that's how I'm, that's how I'm gonna get into it. I'm gonna get Fire Emblem Awakening, because I still really wanna get into that game, because I haven't gotten into it yet. I've, I have the, um, they hit both of us, by the way, right there. I was so pissed. I was like, wow, cool, I'm just gonna 3v1 all these noobs. But, um, where was I going with that? Yeah, Target, I'm gonna get Fire Emblem Awakening, because I think this, the deal goes online. If it doesn't, then I'm gonna have to, I might be in a little bit of a problem. But, um, in a predicament... Um, but all of the games are coming out right now that I really want to play. Like, Yokai Watch came out actually today, but I haven't.
played it. I've just watched the first episode of the show, and I have played the demo. I don't know, the demo seemed kind of confusing, but I feel like if I actually got the game that I'd, and, like, did the trial, not the- oh god, that was loud. Skype notification, sorry about that. You couldn't hear it, but I could, and that annoyed me. Um, played the demo, that's all I got. But I ended up beating the 3v1 anyway, so that's cool. Um, I feel like if I start from the beginning, like, get, do the trial and all, it'd, under, I'd, it'd be more understandable. But, um... The show was pretty funny. A lot of adult humor as well as kid humor in there. Or just random stuff that made me laugh. I don't know. I'm cool. Am I not? Okay. Um, something cool that uh, happened to me recently was the Super Mario Maker. You remember? Okay, so I have it digitally downloaded. And they offered to uh, send free books. The free Mario Maker booklets out. If you bought it digitally by calling the phone number and... They got it for free, and I got it mine. It's so cool. I didn't. I just ordered it though, so it's like it's not like it came three years later. Now, uh, it actually happened. And uh, there's something cool to note on the pirate ship stage. Um, I always had a trouble unlocking Toon Link and Brawl because of that um, little grapple thingy that comes up. That right there. Um, I always had a problem unlocking Toon Link because of it. I'd just stand on it randomly, or I'd always get stuck on it somehow and just get flung off. And I'd die, and I'd be sad. But, yeah, that I, eventually I guess I did it. But um, I always thought Toon Link was the shit. Because I'm pretty sure he was the last character I had to unlock. Because I was like, oh boy, I want to unlock all the characters. So I unlocked like five of them, and then I figured out you could do Subspace Emissary to unlock everyone else. I was like, whoa, let me do that. So I ended up doing that. And then there were the last three. I don't know how I ended up unlocking Jigglypuff beforehand, but I unlocked Jigglypuff. And then I unlocked, um... Uh, Wolf. And then Toon Link was the last one that, that I remember unlocking, at least. I don't know why, but it was. So I thought that was super cool, because Toon Link's awesome. I just wish they would have given him a more original moveset, and that annoys me right there. He, Jigglypuff didn't get sent very far at all, and I got, I died, freaking died from it. And watch the Cuckoos come after me after Zero Suit threw him after me. The AI is completely out to get me. Just look, I'm all the way out in nowhere, and I don't remember what happens. Oh, this Jigglypuff, this custom Jigglypuff's annoying. You can see it here. Oh, no, no, no. I really wanted to grab that assist trophy. Oh, and it's Magnus. Yep, rip me. Rip me. I don't know what to do. It's just Magnus. Oh, oh, yeah. I forgot about that. The lightning strikes me and kills me. I was so far in this recording already. I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm, I don't want to do it again, so I decided against it. But um, I just went ahead and continued. I don't, I don't care. I didn't care. Huh. But usually if I lose within like the first two or three, um, two or three battles, then I will, uh, go ahead and redo the entire thing. Because it's like, there's no point. And might as well show the bloopers with it, because that's funny. It's funny. But, um, yeah. It was just some unfortunate luck, which sucks and all. But, um... I'm definitely interested in the Xenoblade series, and it's made by the Monolith Soft people, who have made the Xeno series for a long, long time, but uh, have recently became Nintendo first party, I guess? I don't know how to explain it very well, but um, all I know is Shulk is first party Nintendo, and Monolith Soft is pretty much a first party uh, developer for Nintendo. Because I know they uh, are working on Zelda right now because um, it's an open world style game and they're pretty pretty knowledgeable in that field of expertise. So that's always a good thing. And I can't wait to see what they're doing with Zelda U. I mean, I'm glad, I'm not glad that it got delayed, but I'm happy that they're at least taking their time with it and not rushing it. But that's something for a different time, I guess? I don't know. I don't know. Ho I'm hoping that by the end of this, um, 
series with the Smash characters just in classic mode, though we'll have at least another DLC character to go. I got super spooked there because there were the bombs, and I actually didn't end up getting hit by them, which is cool and all. That looked like a hungry box to me right there. I don't have hungry box. So, I don't know what that was, but it looked like one. I don't know if he even has a mate. Well, I mean, def he definitely has a mate, but I've never seen it. Um. Yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. Um, one thing I'd like to see uh, Monolith Soft do is uh, work on some other RPG series that Nintendo already has, like um, Golden Sun. I'd like to see a big open world 3D Golden Sun game. That'd be pretty cool. And we know they're already working on their next game for the next uh, for the NX. Whatever that is, even though it's almost pretty much confirmed that it's going to be the multiple device hybrid things. If we can uh, say that the leaks are correct. Even though it's not really a leak, it's more like just a rumor, I guess. Pretty popular. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I'm pretty certain that the next console is going to be a hybrid. And I don't know why I went Smash there. It was a dumb idea. I was trying to go Buster, but I clicked it one too many times. As you can see there, I tried to clean it up, fix it up a little bit. But these take so long to kill. It's annoying. I think they're like the most difficult form. There was the buster. Just trying to get them dead. They keep avoiding everything and just killing all of life. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, cool. The Monado is actually extremely similar to the gate things that the that crazy hand puts out. I don't know. I don't know what those are called. But, um... Yeah. Um... Something cool is that, um... Shulk Amiibo is not too rare anymore. I mean, I still haven't ever seen one ever. But, um... He was exclusive to GameStop originally. And more recently, he's been seen in Toys R Us and possibly Best Buy? I'm not sure. All I know is I, I'd really like him because now that I have a new 3DS and I can actually play Xenoblade Chronicles, I heard that there's like a bonus thing that you get, like music player or something. I actually don't know what you get for it, but I really want to play it, play Xenoblade, and I don't really have to have the amiibo, but I'd like it. <laughs> I love how that move attacks so many times, and uh, I, I was really feeling it at that point. So I went ahead, and we're onto the Master Edges now, because I really like the names of the Master things. There's like Master Beast, Master Giant, Master Edges, except Fortress. I hate Master Fortress, and just because I hate everything about it. Yeah, I got stage spiked by Master Edges. I, sh I could have been a lot smarter about it, but I wasn't. And this always get me for whatever reason. I don't know what I'm trying to do here. I'm just trying to survive, and I'm not doing a very good job at it, because I've already got 40% on me. But I end up killing it anyways, and I'm pretty sure all that's left is my uh, clone, my little clone buddy. And it's always good to start off with a grab, because they never really expect it, and they don't shield. So you can easily get a nice and easy grab. Which is cool. I just went for the smash mode, trying to see if I can kill him from the top. And that was a pretty awesome thing that I did right there. I uh, got him up in the up B and hit him off. But yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for Shulk. And his time has, has gone. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. <sighs> um... What can I talk about now? Well, it's over anyways. So, what could I talk about? Um, some games that I'm playing right now, I'm playing uh, Yoshi's Woolly World. I think I'm up to world, yeah, I just beat the World 2 boss. So I still have a couple more worlds in that to go, but it's so much fun. But again, I've just been playing so many 2D platformers that, I don't know, I'm just getting tired of them. I wanna see like a 3D Yoshi game. Yeah, <laughs> because that'd be pretty awesome, right? Oh, are we on the credits now? Yep, we're on the credits. So, this is the Monado's power. I think Shulk's, uh, 
taunts are the best in the game, possibly, with the feeling it, really. And I keep spamming it because I'm a 13-year-old boy. Just kidding, I'm 16. Or am I? Mwahaha. It'd be like there's a secret if you uh, did the neutral air because it goes really well with the Smash Ball logo. But thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I upload every day. And thank you guys for watching. Peace out.